Back to now on your Wednesday, the Biden administration's latest plan to cancel student loan debt is expected uh, expected to take effect pretty soon, uh, as soon as this week, actually. But Republicans in Congress say colleges should be the ones to foot the bills. A new bill working its way through the House would hold colleges and universities financially responsible for unpaid loans. It would be based on the total price the institution charges the students and the value-added earnings after they graduate. Chairwoman of the House Education Committee, Republican Virginia Fox, introduced the College Cost Reduction Act this month, and she now joins me live. Congresswoman, thank you for your time. Uh, I'm so curious. I know you're hoping to achieve a a few different things with this legislation. How exactly would it work? Well, thank you very much uh, for that intro because you hit the nail on the head pretty much. We want to have the colleges and universities have some skin in the game on this issue. We want them to bring down the cost of uh, going to college and we want them not to saddle students with unsupportable debt. So we, uh, and we're going to base that on programs. So you uh, talked about it very well in the intro. We want also transparency. We want students and families to know exactly what it's going to cost them, how much financial aid they're going to get, what's the chance that they'll get a job in their degree, and how much value added is the degree going to be to them and compared to what kind of expenses they're going to have. Yeah, and you know, Congressman, when I think of this legislation, you think of all the, the talent that is out there who can't afford post-secondary education uh, and they don't pursue those dreams simply because of cost. Uh, if this moves forward and comes to, to fruition, you know, how do you see this changing the American landscape when it comes to job opportunity and just being competitive on a global stage with other countries? Well, we want to have the best educated people in the world, and in years past we have had, but you're exactly right. Many students fail to go on to college uh, and develop their skills because of the high cost. What we'd like to see happen is there to be many, many more opportunities for people. Not everyone graduating from high school uh, needs to go to college immediately, but 75% of the people who are now taking college courses don't meet that criteria that we have in our minds of an 18-year-old leaving high school, going into college full-time. 75% of the people don't meet that. And so what we want is for there to be lifelong learning so people go in and out to get the skills that they need to have really productive lives. And that's what we're aiming for, not just in this legislation, but in other legislation that we've introduced and some of which has already passed. And I know you've gotten feedback from a lot of different people, as you do as a congresswoman. Uh, you know, critics say smaller institutions like community colleges could also pay uh, very steep fines under this plan, uh, not just the big private schools out there. How do you respond to critics who say this could disproportionately affect institutions serving low-income students? Oh, oh no, on the contrary. The community colleges come out very well with this plan that we have, and they should be the happiest people in the, uh, in the industry, because it is an industry. Uh, community colleges will do very well because we believe that they can prove value added uh, much easier than some of the larger schools can. But this is a very fair program. Again, we want the schools to to fulfill their promises of helping students gain the skills they need to lead productive lives, to get good jobs. And that's a part of what we're doing. Our aim is to have more people be skilled and to have the opportunity to continue their education over a long period of time. So we don't see anybody being harmed by this. Now, schools never like things to change. They love sure. the status quo, but the status quo is not good enough in our country right now. Well, this would certainly help uh, a lot of students, a lot of families. We'll see if uh, Democrats get on board and, and support your bill. Congresswoman Virginia Fox, thank you so much for your time on your Wednesday. Thank you.